All right, so our fourth, third, third installment, third installment for our workout series here uh, with our Corona Karate at home. If you want to get sideways, you can get sideways in a fighting stance. We're going to lead with the right side again. First one of our kicks is we're going to do the jump front kick. The way this works is remember back in our warm up, our fifth warm up, where we did a back foot front kick, put it back, and then we did a kick off the front foot, right? That was actually always kind of gearing you up to get ready for this. This time, instead of kicking with that first one, instead of coming up off the back, we're just going to use the knee, raise the knee up, and then we're going to switch them. We do a switch in the air, and as you switch in the air, that's when you deliver the front kick, right? So yes, this is the same as the crane kick that they use on the Karate Kid uh, films. That is a real kick. What is not real is having the hands out here on the side. That's a bad idea. We're going to keep our hands right here on the center line, all right, right in the middle. But otherwise, it's, it's a good kick. It's almost like a fake followed by an actual front kick, right? So we're lifting up, and you can use that lift to help kind of pump you up even higher on this one. So it can jump pretty high with it as the second kick happens at the top of the jump that way, right? So that's the jump front kick. We're going to do 10 of those. Ready, one. We lift the left knee jump and kick with the right foot be sure when you come down you come down good on your uh, on your left foot you don't want any twisted ankles on this so be ready to catch yourself right the foot that uh, the foot that you jump off of is the one you kick with but the other one the one you raised first that's the one you're gonna land on that's got to be ready to catch you ready to lift the knee up jump front kick pull those toes back ready three Jump front kick, four, jump kick, and back, five, knee up, jump front kick, six, jump front kick, come back, seven, ja. eight, jump front kick, nine, jump kick, one more, ten, jump front kick, good. The next one we're going to do is a combination from our second workout series. We did that step slide side kick. We also did that turn with the back foot and back kick. We're going to put those two together as a combination. We're going to do them together. So it's going to go step slide, side kick with the right, spin, back kick with the left, and then come back to where you started. Right? Ready? One. Side kick with the right, back kick with the left as you turn and come back. Two, side kick, turn, back kick, back. Three, side kick, back kick, and back. Four, side, back, and back again. Five, side kick, back kick, and back. Six, back kick, back. Seven, side, back. Again, eight, side kick, spin, back kick, come back. Nine, side kick, spin, back kick, come back. And ten, side, back kick, and then come back again. Good. All right, the next one we're going to do is kind of like that the, uh, spinning back kick that we were just doing in the combination. Turn with the back kick, I kind of keep my shoulders square. Toes pointing down to kick with the heel. But you can also turn even more to where you're sideways. If you do that, your knee can come up sideways, your foot can come up sideways, and you can come a little higher with the kick. That's what we call a spinning side kick. So we have a spin back kick. We have a spin side kick. Right? And that's what we're going to do now. Spin with the side kick. Just the spin side kick. You turn, foot should be sideways, and kick. Step back. All right, that's one. So kicking with the left foot. Ready to turn, kick sideways, step down, step back. Fighting stance. Three, side kick to the front, come back. Four, turn to the back, side kick to the front, come back. Five, spin side kick, come back to where you started. Six, boom, side kick, back again. Seven, spin, side kick, back. Eight, spin, kick, and come back. Nine, kick, spin, kick, step 
head back and 10. Spin side kick. And come back. Good. All right, now we're going to switch all that. So switch sides. This time leaving with the left foot, we're going to go back to the jump front kick. So we're lifting the right knee up. Jump off the left. Kick with the left as you land on the right. All right, that's the jump front kick. Ready, one. Knee up. Jump front kick. Come back. Two. Lift the knee. Jump kick. Back. Three. Jump front kick. Turn four. Come back. Five. Jump front. Back again. Six. Boom. Come back. Seven. Jump front kick. Back again. Eight. Back. Nine. Front kick. Come back. And ten. Jump front kick. And come back. Now the combination. Side kick. Replacement side kick, spin back kick. So we're going to step, slide with the left foot, we side kick. With the right, we're going to spin and back kick. Right? Toes down, kicking with the heel on that second kick. So we step, slide, side, back kick. That's one. Back. Two. Side. Spin back. Come back. Three. Replacement side, spin back. And come back. Four. Side kick, back kick, back again, five, pow, pow, come back, six, step side to side, spin back, come back, seven, pow, pow, back kick, eight, side kick, back kick, and return, nine, side, and back, step back, and ten, side kick, Back kick, good. And come back again. Now, this time the spinning side kick. Adjust the right leg, right? Your left side's forward. We're gonna turn to the back. You're turning to the right, all the way where you're sideways this time, so the foot will be sideways as you execute a side kick to the front, and then come back again. Spinning side kick. 31, turn side kick, come back. Two, boom. Again, three, spin side, step back, four, pop, side kick to the front, five, side kick, come back, six, spin side kick, come back, seven, pop, back, eight, spin side kick, step back, nine, pop, come back again, and 10. Spin side kick and step back again to fighting stance. Good. All right. <clears throat> Switching sides. Now with the left leg back, right sides forward again where we started. The next kick we're going to do, the again, last workout series. Workout number two uh, had us doing the heel hook, heel hook off the front leg. Now we're going to do a heel hook off the back. We're going to heel hook as we turn to the back. Just like you turned and did that side kick, we're going to use that turn, extend the leg, and bend the knee and heel hook. And you can either step down forward, if this is new for you, you can heel hook and step to the front and then step back. Or if you're more advanced, if you've been practicing, what I'll probably do is spin all the way through. I'll turn, heel hook, and come all the way around, right? Just as an extra challenge. But if you need to step forward, please step forward. Turn, heel hook, step down then step back, that's fine, that's still correct, right? And then as you get better at it, you can do it without putting your foot down to the front. You can pull it all the way back where you started. Spin heel hook, right? We're turning to the right and kick, or turning to the left and kick with the left. So we spin, heel hook, all the way around and back again. Ready, two, heel hook. Try and keep it as flat as you can with the heel, right? Coming across. Don't want to kick it up or down, right? Nice and arcing right through. Ready, three, heel hook, and back. Four, turn, heel hook, and back. Five, boom, back again. Six, heel hook, around. Seven, heel hook, back. Eight, spin, heel hook. Might be getting you dizzy, that's fine. You wanna keep your eye on where you're kicking. Nine, boom, see it? 
Come back and see it again. As you turn your head, go right to your target. 10, spin the heel hook, and back, good. All right, the next two are fairly, uh, I think they're fairly easy techniques. These are more like, or uh, kicks that are more working more on flexibility, particularly in the hip flexors. This is called the outward crescent. Again, we're gonna start with the back leg, with the left. We're gonna do a big circle with it. This time the toes point up. You wanna cross your leg. Bring that back leg across the front leg just a little bit, and you're swinging it up to the front. And then you're gonna bring it out to the side. You're actually hitting with the side of the foot, the outside of the foot as the toes are up. It comes across like it's going over that chair. Pretend there's a chair there. You're gonna swing your leg over the chair, making a circle as wide as you can, coming right back to where you started. That's called the outward crescent kick. Outward, because it's going away from your center line. Ready, one, using the outside edge of the foot, toes are pointed up. Two, outward crescent. Three, up and over. Four, five, almost like a big swing. Six, boom, up and over. Seven, eight, nine, up and over, and 10. Outward crescent. Now, we're gonna reverse that. We're gonna do an inward crescent. So again, toes will be up. This time we're using the inside part of the foot here. Where that curve is, right, on the toe side. And we're coming to the inside, so inward crescent kick. It's moving towards your center line. On this one, your back, your uh, other foot, the one that's not kicking, the one you're standing on, will have to turn, turn as your body turns sideways. Step forward with this one so you get a full rotation, and then step back. Don't try and bring that back to where it started like the last one. You want to use this as a big step forward. So it goes inward crescent, step down, then step back. All right, that's how we do that. Ready, two, swing it up and over, and back. Three, inward crescent, back. Four, back. Five, inward crescent swing, step back. Six, inward crescent, back to finding stance. Seven, Eight, inward crescent, nine, crescent, then over, and ten, then over, and back, good. All right, we're gonna switch sides. We're going back to the spin heel hook, now with the right foot, turn into the right, kick with the right, right, we're gonna turn, heel hook, again, if you need a step to the front, that's fine, right? If you can pull all the way through, heel hook all the way around, that's even better than that's what I'll practice with here, but if you need to step forward, start there, get used to the balance so it doesn't make you too dizzy, and then you can do the full spin. Ready, one, turn heel hook, come back. Two, heel hook with the right. Three, spin heel hook, come back. Four, heel hook around, coming back. Five, back again. Six, Seven, heel hook, and down. Eight, heel hook, down. Nine, heel hook, and back, and ten. Heel hook, and back, good. Now the outward crescent. Back leg swings up, kind of across the front leg. Outward, going away from the center line. We're using the outside of the foot to kick with. Swinging with that right leg up and over the chair. Invisible chair. Two. Outward crescent, and down. Three, up and over. Four, outward crescent. Five, six, crescent and down. Seven, up and over. Eight, nine, crescent kick, and 10, up and over. Now we'll reverse it, inward, crossing the center line. Again, the leg you're standing on is gonna turn you, right? So you'll be turning to the left. As you kick with the right, step down and step back. All right, ready, one. Using the inside of the foot now. This curve right here. Ready, two, inward crescent, back. Three, up and over, step back. Four, inward crescent, back. Five, step back, six. Seven, in the crescent, return. Eight, and back. Nine, in the crescent, step back, and 10, inward crescent. Now the outward, uh, we did 
the outward, outward and inward. So now we're going to switch with your right side forward. Finding stance, we're leaving the legs alone. Go to our punching series. Again, it's going to start with that step through punch. Step and punch together. Foot and hand, same time. We're going to twist. This time, instead of a punch with a cross, open your hand up. We're going to do that palm strike. Right? We're going to hit him in the chin with this part of the hand, the hard part, not the fingers. Palm strike to the chin. Just like in the last set, this other first punch comes up by your hand or by your ear again. But instead of coming horizontal with a hammer fist this time, we're going to make a sword hand. Bring the fingers together tight, tuck the thumb tight to the side, and with this bottom part right here, almost where the wrist is, we want to make contact where the shoulder and the neck meets, coming downward at a diagonal. All right, last one is our hand sword, and then we step back. So it's going to go punch, and then the next two are open palm attacks. Close fist punch, palm strike to the chin, raise this hand up, downward hand sword, step back. All right, that's the combination. Ready, one, go. Straight punch, palm, hand sword, step back. Two, punch, palm, chop, and back. Three, hit him in the chin, chin, chop the neck. Four, punch, palm, hand sword, back. Five, back. Six, punch, palm, hand sword. Seven, back. Eight, straight punch, palm, hand sword. Nine, and back, and ten. Good, now we'll switch sides. We're gonna lead with the left hand. We're gonna slide up and straight punch, jab with the left. Palm strike with the right hand as you lift that left up, and then make your sword hand, because you're gonna chop down just like we did. So the second two moves are the same as what we were just doing. The only thing we changed is instead of a step, we're gonna slide and jab this time, right? So you get your left side forward, slide, jab, palm, chop, and back, that's one, two, back, three, jab, palm, hand sword, four, chop, back, five, and back, six, palm, chop, seven, back, eight, and back, nine, jab, palm, hand sword, and ten, and back, good. Now we'll make that first move a back fist. Slide and flick, hit him in the temple. Slide up, back fist, twist and palm strike to the chin, downward hand sword to the neck, and then we slide back again. Ready, one, back fist, palm, hand sword, back. Two, back, three, back fist, palm, hand sword. Four, back, five, back fist, palm, hand sword. Six, back, seven, Eight, back fist, palm strike, hand sword. Nine, back, and ten, back fist, palm strike, hand sword. Back, now we're ready for the other side. So your right side's already back. Starting with that step through punch. Step and punch, then the palm strike, now with the left hand this time. Twist palm strike, lift your right hand up. Come down with that hand sword to the neck, and then step back again, all right? That's the whole pattern. Ready, one, combination, punch, palm, chop, Step back, two, and back again, three, punch, palm, hand sword, four, and back, five, step back, six, seven, punch, palm, hand sword, and back, nine, or eight, sorry, boom, back, now nine, punch, palm, hand sword, step back, and ten, punch, palm, hand sword, now switch sides. We're gonna lead with the right side now. Slide up, straight punch, jab, twist and palm, downward hand sword chop to the neck, and come back. That's the combo. Ready? One, jab, palm, hand sword, come back. Two, back. Three, punch, palm, hand sword. Four, five, six, punch, palm, hand sword. Seven, eight. Nine, and ten. Now we make it a back fist to the temple. Slide flick, twist palm strike, downward hand sword, and come back. Ready, one, back fist palm, chop, come back. Two, three, four, back fist palm, hand sword, 
five, six, seven, this palm hands, eight, nine, and ten. Back to this palm, hand sword, and back. Good. All right, last set, other side. We're going to step through punch again to start, this time with the back hand, with the uh, right hand, we're going to heel palm. Again, using the bottom of the hand, this is coming out, reach all the way out, and come back towards you. The hit actually happens as you come back. You're hitting with this part of your hand, almost your wrist, bottom of the hand and the wrist. And the idea of that is you're actually catching him behind the head, pulling his head down, pulling it towards you, right? Whether it hits the head or it hits behind the jaw, right? Pull their head forward, and then the last one's going to be make a nice tight elbow and come horizontally across the temple or jaw on the other side. And that's the combination of the step back. So go step punch, heel palm pulls them in, elbow strike, and back. That's one. Two, punch, heel palm, elbow, back. Three, punch, heel palm, elbow, back. Four, punch, heel palm, elbow, Five, punch, heel palm, elbow, back. Six, step punch, heel palm, elbow, back. Seven, punch, heel palm, horizontal elbow, back. Eight, palm, elbow, back. Nine, punch, heel palm, elbow, and return, and ten. Heel palm, elbow, good. Now we'll switch sides. Leading with the left side forward, we slide jab. Then the right does the heel palm and the left does that inward elbow and we slide back again. Slide up straight jab, heel palm, elbow, come back. Two, jab, heel palm, elbow. Three, heel palm, elbow, back. Four, heel palm, elbow, back. Five, pop, pop, and back. Six, jab, heel palm, elbow, back. Seven, back. Eight, jab, heel palm, elbow, back. Nine, come back, and ten, jab, heel palm, elbow, come back. Now, back fist, the front hand, slide, back fist with the left, heel palm with the right, elbow with the left, come back. Ready, one, back fist, heel palm, elbow, back. Two, back fist, heel palm, elbow. Three, pow, 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 back. Four, flick, heel palm, elbow. Five, back fist, heel palm, elbow. Six, Seven, back fist, heel palm, elbow, back. Eight, elbow, back. Nine, back fist, heel palm, elbow, back. And ten, back fist, heel palm, elbow, good. One more set on the other side. Right leg is back, right hand is ready. We step and punch straight. Now the left does the heel palm, and the right does the elbow across the chin or the temple, and back. Ready, one, step punch. Heel palm back hand, elbow front hand, step back. Two, punch, heel palm, elbow back. Three, straight, heel palm, elbow. Back again, four, punch, bah, back. Five, punch, heel palm, elbow back. Six, punch, ha, back. Seven, punch, heel palm, elbow, step back. Eight, Nine, step and punch, heel palm, elbow, back. And ten, step and punch, heel palm, elbow, back. Now switch sides. Leading with the right, slide forward, straight jab. Left hand, heel palm, right elbow, come back. Ready, one, jab, heel palm, elbow, back. Two, back. Three, heel palm, elbow, back. Four, back. Five, jab. Heel palm, elbow, back. Six, bah, back. Seven, back. Eight, heel palm, elbow, back. Nine, jab, heel palm, and elbow. Ten, back hand, front hand. Last one, back fist. Slide up, flick. Heel palm, elbow, come back, right? Again, back fist, heel palm, elbow. Right, left, right. Back fist, left, heel palm, right elbow, back. Three, back fist, heel palm, elbow. Four, five, back fist, heel palm, elbow, back. Six, back. Seven, back fist, heel palm, elbow, back. Seven, or that's eight. Nine, back fist, 
fist, heel palm, elbow, and 10. Back fist, heel palm, elbow, good. All right, and that concludes our workout for the Kempo Karate Series number three. Hope you enjoyed that, and uh, hope you'll work towards going to number four next.